On the weekend, I got a whole bunch of Red Wiggler worms for our worm composting system. And today I want to show you how to make a little worm pail for them. Worms are really easy keepers. You can keep them in your house in a pail underneath the sink, which is what I'm going to be doing. For this particular project, I decided I didn't want to use five gallon pails. I've used those in the past, but they were a little bit too big. They were hard to fit underneath the sink. So I'm gonna be using two gallon pails, which I just got from Canadian Tire. Any kind of two gallon pail works, or if you have any extra tubs and things like that. Pails are nice and small, so they'll work. The ideal worm to use for a worm composting system are red wiggler worms. However, if you have night crawlers or any other kind of worm like that, they'll work just fine. So for this project, I'm using two two gallon pails. One of them will be where the worms are actually living in. I'll be drilling holes in the bottom. The bottom one is just basically a catchment container. So if there's any extra water or things like that, it can drip into there. I might lose some worms in there. That's okay. I can just fish them out from the back end whenever I need. You also want to make sure you have a lid. Otherwise your worms will escape as I found out the hard way when I put them in a container temporarily without a lid on. Okay. This is April, one of my cats. He's one of those cats that kind of gets in the way of everything all the time. A bit of a pain in the butt. So the first step to do is to drill some breathing holes into the lid. It by no means needs to be a super nice fancy pattern. Some people do put a mesh here. If I notice that any are escaping, then that's what I'm going to do. For now, I'll leave it and see how well it goes. The second step for this is to then drill holes in the bottom of one, just for a little bit of drainage. I don't want to drill too many holes into this one. I don't want the worms to fall out too much. If you like this video so far, don't forget to go ahead and boop that like button. And if you want to hear more content about trying to live a self-sufficient life in a northern climate, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And there's your container prepared for the worms. The next step is to actually go and fill it up with bedding for your worms and then search your worms into the container. One of the easiest beddings to use for worms is just plain old newspaper. You tear it into strips, you wet it down, and you insert it in the bottom, and there is the annoying cat again. Yeah, just rip it into strips. Pour a little bit of water on there. <clears throat> you can also pre-soak the bedding beforehand if you want to. It's entirely up to you. you. Just put it in wet. Time for the worms. And there we go. Happy worms in their new little home. We have some bedding. We have food. And we'll just keep filling it up because we notice they're running out of food. Hey, would you look at that? So I had taken them out of this container and put them in my new worm pail. And it looks like I left behind some babies, which are gonna be a little bit hard to clean out of here. So I'm just gonna turn this pail into a second container for them. So as you can see, the two gallon pails fit perfectly here underneath the sink with that pipe there. It's a little bit tricky to fit five gallon pails in this space. Two gallon pails work really well. They're only a couple bucks from the store. Uh, so it's a very cost effective solution for them. 